Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, March the 31st, 2022, and it's just flying by. It's crazy how I just when I think about two years ago in 2020 and 21, and now we are back to somewhat normal, and uh, I am super excited. So welcome to today's training. I won't keep you long today, but I just want to go over a few things here and and it may help you. Uh, we are having agents come out of the woodwork and writing business right now. It's just that time of the year where everything's fresh and warm and uh, agents are excited. They're getting out. Um, and, you know, we've been through the Corona deal, still kind of going through it. Some of us may be, and uh, we've seen it. Uh, we've experienced it. It's been firsthand and we know how important it is more than ever right now to, to protect families. And to protect families so uh you know i'm excited to be here i really am i believe that 2022 this is going to be one of our best years ever and i truly believe agents are going to to uh, get out and protect people it's about protecting and serving it's about protecting and serving you're going to see a new logo come out in the next month or so from me uh with regards to what we're doing down here and and uh, in all these territories and what we're doing with final expense and how we're protecting people and how we're serving people. So I'm super excited. Those brand new people, I am a real life person. Uh, and so I don't do a lot of my Zoom calls on video. I do them on audio just because I want everybody to be able to focus on, on uh, you know, the, the things that are said in the screen versus, you know, watching me talk or someone else talk or whatever. But if you look on the screen, I'm a real life person. I've been in the insurance business for 22 years. Uh, well, yeah, 22, because it was in 2000. And uh, I've been uh, have been around the world a little bit, if you know what I mean, as far as products go in the insurance business. I've been the PNC, the 401k business, uh, some stocks, uh, the you know lots of life insurance. So when I talk about life insurance, I've had you know, a big time with um, find, uh, with Farmers Insurance. Been with them for a while, and uh, and now since with Security National Life since 2016, I was a, a business consultant with Farmers uh, and, and owner of an independent agency. So I've seen the VULs, the IULs, the terms, the all of them, and uh, I can't, I, I, I won't, I can't lie and say that I'm not more excited right now because I am about final expense and about whole life policies because it is the bread and butter of life insurance. I truly believe that because I talk to people all the time and they say, well, VULs, they've got upside of the market and IULs got a floor on them. Well, and then they have a ceiling on them too, but they follow the S&P or the Dow um, and there maybe their fees are high or they're cost, you know, whatever it may be, but I know that whole life policies is where, where the bread, the butter is completely. Um, because here's the thing, everybody's going to pass away one day. And, uh, I see it every day. And if you're out there in the, in the world, you see it too. And I hear people, well, I had a policy, but it started going up so much that, um, I couldn't afford it. Or, oh, well, I had a policy, but I let it lapse or, Oh, well, y'all won't cover me now because I've got COPD or, oh, now we can't get coverage. I hear it all the time. With whole life and with final expense, we're pretty boring, but also awesome in the fact that we have one premium. We have one face amount. And as you, some of you have seen before in my illustration of coverage down here, we have cash value. We have accumulation. We have interest rate. We have paid up benefits and everything that goes along with it. So when you write a policy with Security National Life on whoever you're writing it on, you're writing it with a solid foundation that this policy will be here forever. The beneficiary will, will have the opportunity to have that money at the end. We're not changing it. It can't go away. And every single thing you see on this piece of paper is guaranteed. And if that doesn't get you going, you know, in the marketplace, I don't know what it is. I'm just an honest guy. I grew up here in Central Texas. I'm still here in Georgetown, Texas, north of Austin, the growing metropolis of Austin. I think everybody's area is growing, but man, it is growing by leaps and bounds here. 
Um, so, um, you know, I, I'm super excited to, to, you know, to be here. Uh, I watch every one of y'all grow and, and if you're not growing right now, call me and let's do grow. Uh, but I just want to point out a couple of things this morning. Uh, if you look also on my training website, if you if you're brand new and you've missed a few things, you can go over here to my YouTube channel on my training website and my training website. Again, if you see up here at the top, final expense life .us. be sure you write that down. That's important to you. Final expense life .us. That's where all my information is. This is where it's kind of like a toolbox. So if you're going to go work on a car, you're going to work on your garage, you're going to work on. Uh, your, you know, drywall or paint, you need a toolbox, you need a tool chest. This is your tool chest. I'm provide I built this myself, but this is your tool chest. I want you to use it. So very first and foremost on this YouTube, I record everything I do as far as these trainings go. And you'll see, uh, you know, this one six days ago, 13 days ago, 13 days ago, uh, and all the way down to, gosh, my other one, uh, was 11 months ago. So I've nearly been doing this a year now. Uh, and I try to record everyone. So if there's a subject you were looking for, how to present the product. So if you're brand new and you want to know how to how to go in there and present our product, like if you're presenting to someone, watch that one. If you're new uh, and you want to know a little bit more detailed about how to submit a web application, go to that one. If you want to know a little bit about whole life versus IUL, go to that one. Okay. Uh, if you want to know about buying some leads, we're going to go over that a little bit today. Look at this, using your peer groups and influences. That means who do I know in the public? Who do I know out there that I can go talk to? What are some ideas and thoughts about that, you know, doing that? Uh, down here, how to work your leads. These are a little bit old. I'm going to probably get rid of these here this week. What about this, branding yourself and getting out the door? How do I put on my SNL shirt? my SNL tag. How do I get out that door and feel confident that I'm supporting myself? I am representing a team. And how do I do that? Uh, down here again, some of the other things that we've covered, you know, eight, nine, 10 months ago, we're going to cover today. Okay. So take a little time. It's your business. It's your family. It's your money. Take a couple of look at these areas right here, how to upload a document. I'm going to, I'm going to go through that today. Changing the default language. If you have your agent portal here and you prefer Spanish, you can go right here and change it over to Spanish. Okay, so look at that. Everything's in Spanish. That's pretty cool. And then you can change it back to English. Okay, so back and forth on that. So take a little time. Upload this on your phone. Upload this on your computer. Upload this on your iPad and take a look at it. Okay. And then how to sell a policy in person, how to sell a policy over the phone. I'm going to go a little bit backwards today. I'm going to jump straight into leads and straight into lead credit. I want everybody to know, as you are working with Security National Life, and I've messed this up a little bit, so I can't draw on it. I don't know what I did because I've got a new computer here, but you can see it. Um, everybody in this, you know, that's on the line here receives what we call lead credit, okay? And they receive lead, lead credit. And it messed up a little bit over here. Again, I, I have a brand new computer, so I don't know what I did, but you can kind of read it. So everybody that's on the line here receives what we call 10% of everything you write in lead credit. So 10% and everything you write goes into lead credit. So if you look right here on line nine, okay? I can at least point to nine line, line nine, you see 10% lead credit. What that means is that every time you write a piece of business, so up top, if you write a piece of business that's $70 a month, that annual premium is $840. That's $70 times 12. $70 times 12 is $840. Well, if you average four apps per month, that's only asking this. This is a very minimalistic kind of deal, okay? If you write one app a week in seven days, okay, and you can do the math on your own depending on what you want to make with us and what you want to do, but just look at this example. We have agents that are writing four apps a week and 16 apps a month, you know, so uh, one app a week, 
uh, your yearly premium on that one app would be $840. Well, what I did, I took that $840 right here and I multiplied it times four, which means four apps per month. So you got your monthly annualized premium of $3,360. Okay, so watch me closely here. If I go down here and I get 10% of that in lead credit, I earn $336 worth of lead credit. Okay, that's 10% of 3360. Okay, so 10% and what we call lead credit. If I take that money right there, okay, and y'all be, be uh, if you if you chat something, you know, let me know, I mean, go ahead and chat, that's fine. I'll be following it on the chat. Uh, if I take that $336 and I go right over here to my portal, for brand new people, this is your portal. And I say, Keelan, you know what I wanna do? I wanna order some leads. I'm gonna order leads, I'm gonna hit that button right there, okay? So if I wanna order leads, it should take me right over to here to leads and order leads, okay? So here are my options for brand new people. We have a company called Lead Concepts. They do mail outs, you can take a peek at that. We have Facebook leads, you can take a look at that. They're $20 a piece only, you can take a look at that. We have these door hangers. You can purchase these door hangers for when you're out running leads, you can drop these on people's houses. But if I go in here to RGI, this is a company that we use, and I'll show you what the lead looks like, okay? It's kind of like this. It's just a proof in the background, so it's a little cleaner than this uh, when it comes back to you. But if I do that and I say I want to order, let's see, just Texas um, right here, County, Williamson County, Add the county right there, zip code, type in a zip code, add the zip code, and then the quantity of a thousand, okay? Price of 475, you see that? So I'm able to go into my county, my zip code. Now you can add, you can add different county, different zip codes right if you want to, if you didn't need to, to add a couple of zip codes in there, okay? Now I can order up to 5,000 pieces of mail drop. So if I order a thousand piece drop, you see that price down there, $475. This means that this company is going to go into my zip code. They're going to drop a thousand pieces of mail from me. When that mail comes back and it comes to you, guess where it's going to go? If you look on your agent portal right here, you're going to see a little button. That, this is a brand new, this is a brand new dashboard for you. Every agent has their own dashboard. Every agents will look different like this. We have provided this. You can use it on your phone. You can use it on your computer. It is very awesome. So if I go in here and I view my leads, okay, and I'm going to just go in here and clear this out for y'all, uh, and I'm going to go to or see if I've got any RGI leads right here, mailer. Okay, so I've got an RGI mailer right here, and I download it. Look at there. This lead comes right to you. So out of a thousand piece drops, uh, I did one in Hutto, Texas, just to see what it looks like. I got this lead back. Now look at here. I've got uh, Adelita Rosas. She's age 62. She's over in Hutto. I've got her, her, all of her. She filled this out herself. Okay. Phone number 512-745-7812. Okay. She wrote a little note down here. Please, no phone calls. Send me info plus cost. Okay, so so I don't know how I'm gonna, how I called her or how I send the information, but Adelita probably already got this from me. I'm just showing you an example. But I would take this lead, go out to see her, call her, set an appointment, and I would just say, "Hey, Miss Adelita, you called. You you sent in a card." This is Keelan. I'm over here in Georgetown, Texas. And this is actually my, my, this is what I say. Adelita, this is Keelan Johnson over here in Georgetown, Texas. I'm your neighbor over here. And I got this information. You are 62. You're on 315 Thomas Park Drive. This is your phone number 512-745-7812. You completed a card and you were interested in state regulated life insurance program. And I am the person to give it to you. I am the person to give it to you. I'm the person going to deliver this to you. And she'll may say something like, oh, I did. And I say, yeah, you did. I've got your writing right here. Uh, you're writing cursive a little bit. And anything you can say to her to remind her that she turned in this card. 
Adelita, would you like for me to come see you over on Thomas Park Drive? Uh, I've got some time available tomorrow or the next day. Uh, e either day is good for me. And set the appointment. We're not going to go into appointment setting here today. But for this, when I went over here and I spent my money and that thousand piece of mailer cost 475, okay, I'm probably going to get 10 or so of these back. I know that sounds like not a lot. Okay, that's a 1% return on mailers. You know, that's a pretty good return. Actually, a great return is about 12 or 14. A bad return is about eight. But let's look at this. Free lead credit. When I, when I earned this $336 in lead credit up here, what Security National Life is going to come do is they're going to pay for half of that lead drop. They're going to pay for half of that lead drop when I mail that out, you're going to be able to use lead credit for half of that. And it's only going to cost you half of what you pay for. OK, so you're going to pay two hundred and thirty seven dollars for 10 of these mailers, for 10 of these, for 10 opportunities to go out and see someone, shake their hand and close the deal. You paid two hundred and thirty seven dollars. Now, let's say. Let's say that you can close three of these or write a piece of business for anybody in the household. Let's say you can close three, which is it pretty, that's a good number. Three is a good number. I mean, I think that's kind of average, maybe a little bit above average, but two, we have people do two all the time out of 10. Two out of time. Some people do four out of 10, depending on if they use the referrals. You got to remember when you use referrals too, after the sale, when you go run a referral, that's as good as a, as a lead also. OK, that's as good of a lead. Also, $237. If I have $840 in premium each sale times three, that's $2,500, $2,500 in commission. OK, on those sales, I spent $237 to make $2,500. And guess what I'm going to do now? That $2,500, I'm going to get lead credit on it. So I'm going to get another $250 worth of free money. Y'all. And that's a Texas word. Lead credit that you earn, lead credit that's in your account is free money. It never touches your 1099. It never touches your wallet. It is free money to you. It's tax free money. It cuts your lead cost in half and you're able to go out there. And now in RGI over here to the left, you're going to see that you're going to start building up your inventory of Thomas. Charlene, Janice, okay? And then you're gonna be able to go over here and click new, working, or completed. Did I sell it or did I not sell it? You're gonna be able to go in here and go to three slash 31, called and she said to come by, whatever it may be, okay? And I hit post, I post it, look at it over here. It's got my history over here. So I can pull this up on my phone. I can pull it up on my computer. And now I have a database and now I have a system going. And now I have a system that Security National Life is giving me money to buy leads and Security National Life is giving me a portal for free to run my leads in. If you're an independent agent, uh, you know, at, at, out there just running around, you got to buy these things. You got to buy one of these programs. But Security National Life over here is giving you your lead hub. Your lead hub, you're giving it to you. And this is where you're going to be able to go in and work leads. This is where you're going to be able to take these things and take them into here and work leads and go, okay, Keelan, I need to buy more leads. I'm ready to go. I need to get out the door. Let's go see some people. Let's go see some people. Okay. Print them out. Go see people. Hug their necks. Talk to them. Okay. And buy the lead. Okay. And buy the lead. Okay. So over here in leads, I'm just trying to tell you, and I hope I did a decent job on it, but we're here. We are absolutely here to help you purchase leads. And we are, uh, you know, are, are here to, to help you be successful in your lead program. Okay. So I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited about trying to help you um, buy leads, purchase leads. Uh, the company here that gets here to pay for half the cost of your leads if you're working them. This is what we call beat the lead. 
this is another, you know, if you want to get with me, we can talk about this all day long, but I'm here to help you. Here's the thing about it is every lead that you see, no matter what it is, we don't know if they want you to call them. We don't know if they want you to leave a voicemail. We don't know if they want to do a text. We don't know if they want to be seen face to face. But what I would suggest you do is do all of them. Do all of them. When you find a lead or you have a lead or you have somebody you want to talk to, try to call them, try to leave voicemails, try to text them, try to go see them in person, try to email them. Try to take every avenue you can to go take care of these people. Okay. And that's called beat the lead. All right. So I just wanted to kind of get off on a little tangent this morning and let you know that we are super excited. I'm super excited to take each and every one of you, whether you're a direct agent to, to security national, whether you're a career agent, which we have right now, career agents are out there rocking and rolling. We are feeding them with leads or trying to feed them with leads. Um, they are out there working. John Washer just posted um, there are full-time agents that are really out there making eight, four, five, eight, ten thousand dollars a month, maybe more. John Heineman was, uh, he's killing it uh, over there in Huntsville, Texas. Um, and then if you're a downline agent, you're in a downline, but you just need some help, you know, getting some leads or buying some leads or purchasing some leads or whatever, I'm here to help you out. Okay. So I just want to kind of get you pumped up and know that 2022 if you're willing to invest in your business, I'm willing to invest in you and I'm willing to help you become that agent that when you wake up in the morning, you look at your lead portal and go, hey, when I go here to my lead portal, I'm going to go to my leads right here and I'm going to go over my working leads. And I'm going to go see how many leads I have working. What do I need to sell today? How many have I sold? How many probably have, how many have I not sold? How many new, new leads do I have? Gosh, I got a lot of people to go see, a lot of people to go to talk to, okay? And a lot of things to go do, right? So um, just want to kind of show you that and touch base there with you. So get with me if you're, if you're excited about working leads or you want to ramp up your lead, uh, your lead opportunity. And so today, also for new people and the current people that are on here, I just want to talk about a couple of things. We have how to sell a policy in the person and how to sell a policy over the phone. Just want to be clear because we get it a little bit confused. We have two ways to do it in person. You're seeing the person. And really all we do here is if somebody else is in another town, if you're in another town, if they don't want to come see you, you can complete that policy over the phone and uh, do the, do the, do the, the policy over the phone. I did one this weekend on someone that called in from the company. And then we did our phone verification on Monday and talked to them over the phone. So you can also, if you like to use your computer, and you want to go out and see people, you can clearly go here on your agent portal. This is your dashboard. You can clearly go there and click on right here. And they actually changed the name of it, which I like it. It's called web app right here. So you can change yours to the web app. They go right here and complete that web app all the way down. I strongly suggest a little homework for everybody. We got quite a few people on the line here today. How many do we have here? We got 23, wow, okay. So 23 people alone, I've got a little homework. If you haven't done it already, go in and complete a web app. I'm not saying write a policy on yourself, but if you have, if you, if you need a policy, write it on yourself. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's hard to sell a policy to someone else unless you have one yourself. So I really suggest that you write one yourself because here's the deal. Number one, uh, you get paid commission on it. <laughs> no matter what, you get paid commission on your own policy. And number two, look how good it is. We pay four and a half percent interest rate. OK, when you talk to people about, well, I've got an IUL and it's got a floor of zero um, and it's got a ceiling of nine percent. Somebody said the other day, it's a great deal. I'm like, well, it's a good deal. Um, but when it goes down, you make zero um, and the fees are high uh, and the premium is high. And look at the bottom. Ours is guaranteed to pay you four and a half percent interest. So half of zero to nine is four and a half. So we're guaranteeing it. You don't have to worry about an up or down. It's already in there. So on my policy here, I'm, I wrote it when I was 41. And when I turn 61 down there at the bottom, when I turn 61 at the bottom, I will have paid eighty two hundred dollars in this policy. But I'll have six thousand in cash. I'll have six thousand in cash if I don't. If I don't die before then, you know, and, uh, you know, my kids will have $20,000. Um, but if I don't, when I turn 61, 
hey, I've got 6,000 in cash. I'm going to the casino. See y'all later. <laughs> uh, 6,000 in cash. But I also have what's important. I love this number over here. Uh, and I'm going to expand it. This $12,366. What that means is that I, I will pay in 20 years, I will pay $8,200 into this policy. I'll have 6,000 in cash, but I'll have a paid up of 12,366. What does that mean, Keelan? That means that I can call the company and say, I am not paying another dime on this policy. I want to take what we call RPU, RPU, reduced paid up. Okay, reduced paid up. So RPU on reduced paid up means that I'll have a policy for 12,366 completely paid up. And I can just put it in the sock drawer and be done with it. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Well, I paid $8,200. I was covered for 20 years for $20,000. And I still have $12,366 worth of life insurance paid up. So when you get a client out there, just so y'all remember, when you get a client out there that says, oh my gosh, do I got to pay forever? No, you don't have to pay forever. You know, if you get 15, 20 years down the road and you don't want to pay anymore, you can take a paid up benefit. You can take a, a full paid up benefit, you know, anywhere down the road. If I were to take right here, if I were to take year 10, I will pay $4,100 and I'll have a $6,000 paid up benefit. So I've, I've got a bigger policy than what I paid in. I've got a way bigger policy than what I paid in. So your policy up here is always exceeding what you paid in. So what a great deal. What a great deal to know that my paid up benefit is going to be bigger than what I pay in. How can that be right? Well, it is true. It is true. Other than a couple of years up in here in the first years as it gets going, but when you got the interest rate and stuff and it grows, you get up there in 12,000. Okay. So just want to kind of, you know, know that. All right. I keep checking my chat button because I don't know if anybody's chatting. Um, here we go. All right. So let's look at a couple other things here. And uh, I wanted to go over a couple of things on the paper application that gets missed a little bit. So I'm going to jump right down in here underneath the download your state app. So on my training page here, you're going to find some states here that have applications. If you don't have them here, go over to your agent portal. Everybody on the line, I need you to do something. Here's your homework assignment. Number one, go into your web application and practice. You can go through here and continue this button and continue the next button and it won't submit it. You can go in here and practice or because you need practice to see, see how it goes or go in here and write your own policy. Write your own policy. You get paid full commission on your own policy. Some of you will be like making money. Some of you be making money on your policy from Security National for the first year. Um, but it'll be paid as earned. It'll be paid monthly and it won't be advanced, but you'll still get paid every month on that. Uh, and then also the second thing is go into your marketing tab over here. And I'm going to show you, you know, real quick. And you're going to go into order supplies. Go in here and order you some supplies. You've got to have some applications. You've got to have some presentations. They're free. They're free and they will come to your house. OK, so pick your language down here. And by the way, people that don't know, um, we have Spanish applications. Look at this. We have Spanish applications. So if you're one that wants to present your 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 um, do your but do your application in Spanish, you can look at there. I don't know what it says because I, I mean, I know what it says, but I, I, I don't speak Spanish, but it is complete um, and it was done in 2020. A Spanish application. And if you per prefer to do that, order you some of those, get those in your inventory. Okay. Um, so we have English and Spanish right here in Texas and wherever, whatever uh, state you're in. If you're also brand new, look at these right here. This is what we call a contract completion brochure. This is basically an elementary, what we've done here, uh, way to help you complete the application. So if you're having hard, uh, you know, a little bit, if you're brand new, this is cool because you can go in here and you can see, uh, what do I do? Oh, here is the red named insured. It should include the name, gender. It's very elementary. Orange, okay, the owner and the payer. Yellow, the beneficiary. Green, what type of plan am I writing? What is the face amount? Teal, okay, billing information. And that's important too. I'll go over that in just a minute. Light blue, replacement. So it goes all the way through here and shows you each section. They've got color coded 
so that you can kind of visually see, hey, this is what I need to do here. This is what I need to do here. And this is what I need to do here. So you can order some of those just as a little guide for you. You can order some of those. OK, so really go in there and get um, taxes. We're going to go here just to sort it down a little bit and uh, get you some of these simple security plan applications right here. You can clearly go in here and just enter your quantity. If you want 15 of them, excuse me, just add to the cart and you're good. You can continue to shop and go in here again and do your English ones and do your state. Um, and then you can get the security care plan. And I'll talk to you about that in a minute too for brand new people. But get you some applications. You've got to have those. Get you some brochures, okay? What you'll see here is, is that you've got the funeral planning fact sheet, the brochure, and the the brochure here, the peace of mind brochure and the regular one. So for brand new people, this right here over to the right, second to the right, I don't have my drawer. I'm gonna figure out how to do that on this new computer, but you have final expense brochure in Spanish, final expense brochure in English. For those of y'all that may be on the line have been with us for a while, looky here, they did change it. They finally got it, okay? They finally got the, the Spanish one uh, with the new writing on it, okay? With the new writing, it's a little bit blurry there. I don't know why but they have the new Spanish uh, presentation piece here. So if you don't have some of those, grab some of those. Um, funeral planning fact sheet, again, very good piece of information here to have to show the people, why is it that we need 12,000? Why is it we need 15,000? Because you need more than what just the funeral is gonna cost. You need more than what the funeral is gonna cost. So go in and order some of those. These brochures are pretty cool too here. Uh, you can get some of these. They're a trifold brochure. And basically what that does, I'll show you the one in English, trifold brochure. I know I'm going a little bit quick, but basically it's called Peace of Mind. And it's got a little tear off over there with a no postage necessary, which means you put your agent number on the inside of this brochure. I wish they had the flip side. And if someone turns that back in and sends it back in, then that lead will come to you. You go out and write them a policy on you know, brochures. Okay, so order some of those forms. There's not a lot of forms you may need right here unless you're replacing a policy. Uh, and if you are, get with me and we'll talk about that. Okay, and then you've got your leads uh, portal here. We're still doing Facebook leads. Uh, they are $20 a piece is all. Uh, so you can go in here and get English or Spanish. I will say that, you know, be careful because people that are turning in their information here, uh, you know, we only get back and we give you what they give us. So if they're giving us some bogus information, uh, it may be hard. Okay. Um, over here on this, on the SNL swag polo shirt. If you don't have a polo shirt and you're out there writing a lot of business, you need one. You need to be branded. You just need to be branded in some way, form or fashion when you're out there in public. People will see that shirt and they'll go, SNL, are you at Saturday Night Live? I'm like, no, <laughs> no. I mean, it, I'm joking on it, but they'll say, what do you do? And we can do a whole webinar on what do we do? We protect families. We protect families. We are family protectors. And, you know, and that's what the shield's going to say when I have our logo come out. We're family protectors. And it's going to be cool because that's what I want to be. I want to be a servant and I want to be a family protector. And ladies, they make those in nice lady shirts, too. So you don't have to wear a man's shirt. <laughs> so they've got a ladies cut on that, too. All right. Um, and watch out for... Uh, Coming up on April the 22nd, I don't have my calendar in front of me. I think it's a Friday. So I'm going to have a live training down here in Georgetown. So on the, mark your calendars on the April the 22nd, which is a Friday. Uh, we're going to have a one day uh, live training here in Georgetown, Texas. So if you'd like to come down and uh, and um, do a live training and listen to other agents and listen to me and, and get a little hands-on training, then we're going to do that here. And I'll feed you some of the world's finest pizza. <laughs> I, I, I think it is. So it's right there by the office. And um, so we'll feed you pizza, feed you a good lunch. So you're tired and can fall asleep while I'm talking <laughs> uh, right after lunch. So beautiful downtown Georgetown. The weather is absolutely great. Come a day before or stay a day after. See the downtown area. And we will have a lot of fun. So a couple of things about the paper application. Again, if you write a policy over the phone, you're going to be sending it in right here on the web app. If you write a policy in person, 
right here. You're going to be doing a paper app. And then you're clearly going to go to this upload button right here and either scan it on your scanner at home or your office, send it in, or take a picture of it with your phone. So if you have the dashboard here, and if you need help getting your dashboard on your phone, I'm here to help you. So call me or let me know, okay? I'll be glad to help you get that on your phone because then you can take a picture of your application and send it straight to the company. Okay, and then you have your rate calculator here. So again, let me review. Upload button, this is for if you have a paper application and you wanna send it to the company, you upload it here, either by phone or scanner. Web app, that's if you want to write somebody in another town, or if you're real good on a computer and you you know want some of the younger people and you wanna take your computer out there to the person's house and you feel more comfortable typing than you do writing, perfectly fine. Take your computer out there, make sure you have good signal though. Make sure you have good signal. But there's one thing too about this web app, two things, if you don't have good signal, and it times out, look down here at your bar, look at your signal down here in internet access. Um, and it times out, it does not save your information. You got to start over. So be sure you have good, good uh, signal. Second thing is, is if you're rocking around, rocking and rolling here and you're typing in stuff and you have to go, she, whoever it is has to go do something for a little bit and come back, it will time out. I don't know the exact time that it times out on, I want to say probably like 10 minutes or five minutes. Or I mean, I mean, eight minutes or 10 minutes, but um, it will time out and you have to start over again. So make sure that once you start this process with the client, you're ready to go all the way through it. You don't have to rush through it, but just make sure you're ready to go through it with the client. Okay. So I close these things out a little bit and I want to spend just a little time, another about 10 or 15 minutes, just talking about the application here. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the simple security plan application here. So again, you see where I went? On your click your state app, if you wanna do that, it will take you to a website here and you can clearly download any of the applications that you want. Any of the applications that you want. I'm gonna use my highlighter here, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, COVID questionnaire. So a couple of things here, uh, I just want to say on a COVID questionnaire. So if you see these, these COVID questionnaire here, Basically, what that's saying is, is that the only time you need a COVID questionnaire, the only time you need a COVID questionnaire is if the person is over 65 and you're also giving them a day one coverage. So preferred or standard. Okay. So over 65 and preferred or standard. So if you have an application on somebody that's under 65, okay, uh, or let me say 65 and over. Yeah. Um, if you have somebody that's 64, 63 or below, you know, you can throw this page away. You don't even have to use it. Okay. So you can throw this page away on the COVID questionnaire. And basically all they're asking is in the last 30 days, have you had one of these things happen? Okay. So you can read that. Um, so, you know, right here, we've got the name of the insured. Uh, you've got the owner's name. Now, they can all be different. We can all have different ones here, okay? So the insured can be different than the owner, can be different than the payor, can be different than the beneficiary. Everybody can be different, okay? So that's not a problem. Just talk my back real quick. Let's make sure I don't have any of those, okay? Um, so everybody can be different. Uh, the owner can be one person, uh, Somebody else can be the other person in the payer. Okay. Just make sure that we get the signatures from everybody. So for those of y'all that deal a little bit in this market also, look you here. Um, we don't have to have a social. We can have a tax identification number or a TIN or an ITIN. So you don't have to have a social with us. Right here, obviously, we're just trying to figure out whether you're in the preferred standard or modified plan. And when we answer these questions down here, this will tell us, hey, if we get all no's, we get a preferred. Hey, right here, if we get a yes in here, and I'll talk to you about that in a second, we get a standard. Hey, if we get a yes over here and we can have up to three yeses here, we get a modified, okay? So we're trying to figure out where they fall, where they fall. 
Premium is pretty simple. We take all forms of payments. We're one of the few companies that does that. We can take your EFTs. We can take direct monthly. So if you have someone that wants to pay cash, you can do that. You just got to get that first premium and then you got to get a cashier's check or money order and mail it into the company at this address, excuse me, right up here, okay, at that address. Right here, we're looking for face amount, okay, face amount, 10, 15, $20,000, you know, whatever it may be. We're going to put $15,000 here. Premium, how much premium right here? Uh, let's say $56 a month, okay, so we got premium there. All right, and then your riders. I'll talk to you about riders in a minute. But basically, we have two riders. Accidental death. We can go up to twenty-five thousand. So if you want to match, and maybe some of y'all should, because there's other people out there that are doing this. Other companies are doing this automatically. So you can go in here really on this and then put fifteen thousand dollars, okay, uh, on accidental death. And then if that person were to pass away, you would have thirty thousand dollars worth of coverage. You have thirty thousand dollars worth of coverage if they passed away in an accident. In an accident, okay. Child rider, you can write up to ten thousand dollars right here, okay. On this one, you can write up to ten thousand dollars on a child rider, uh, and um, basically it will cover any kid um, under under the age. I'm just going to write it out here to the side. So under the age of eighteen. And then they fall off of the policy at 25. So those are two numbers you need to know there if you're taking notes, okay? Under the age of 18, they fall off at 25. Okay, so, uh, you won't need this unless you're somebody, again, is on direct bill uh, as far as paying premium uh, with, the, with the application. Is the proposed insured on social security or disability, yes or no? The reason we wanna see this and wanna ask this is that it's very crucial in this business, as most of you know, that we draft the premium when the person has the money, when the person has the money, which most of the people on Social Security get paid on the second, third or fourth Wednesday, the second, third or fourth Wednesday. OK, so draft upon approval. This is very important right here when you're talking about billing. Mr. And Mrs. Jones, this is going to be policy is going to be for fifty six dollars a month. If we write it today, which is the 30, 31st of March, do you want it to come out immediately? Yes or no? Do you have money in there? Yes or no? Okay. And then, and then going forward, what day do you want your bill to draft out on? What day do you want it to be due on? Okay. So let's just say today's the 31st. I write a policy. Um, and for Mr. Jones for $56 a month. And he says, yeah, I want my bill to be taken out on the 15th of the month. Well, April the 15th is less than 30 days away. So actually the company will come in here and not draft it till May the 15th. Because we as a company, if you remember this, will not draft two of the same premiums. We will not draft two of the same premiums, okay, within a 30 day period, within a 30 day period. We won't do that. All right, so we're rock and rolling down here on replacement. I don't, re I don't uh, recommend replacing policies that much. Uh, if you, somebody else has a policy already in play, uh, ten or fifteen thousand dollars, what I would do, and this is not just to get around the system, but I would say, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, let's keep that policy into play uh, for now. Let's apply for this one, and then when this policy, this policy comes back and everything looks good, and we're all approved and everything's in the bank and we're good to go, then you can cancel the other one. Because I don't want to be canceling another policy and then this one, something happened to it. Then they have zero policies Then they have zero coverage. So I would rather roll the risk that they're double covered for a day or two versus replacing them. But if you just absolutely have to, you can put replacement there. Then you got to go over here in the agent portal again and get your replacement form, okay? And get your replacement form. Physician's name, you do not have to have this if you don't want to, okay? We don't have to have the physician's names right here, okay? But if they're offering it to you, go ahead and do it. All right, section one real quick. Everybody on this phone can, I mean, everybody on this line can read and I suggest you do because it's going to benefit you and most of you have written a policy on the line here. Uh, but just to re rehash, if we have any yeses in this category, we get a knockout. <coughs> and basically, 
if you just look at the, if you just look at this in summary, I'm gonna try to expand it a little bit so we can see these words. I'm gonna highlight some stuff here. So basically, what the company's looking for is in the past 30 days, have you been in the hospital? Yes or no? Okay. Within the past 30 days, over here on two, have you had a seizure? Number two. Number three are your daily activities of life, okay? Now, this doesn't mean right here, do you need a little help every once in a while or do the kids bring you some food? That means, you know what it means. It means the guaranteed stuff right there of every, every day, uh, you know, off from that aspect. So that's what that means. Um, right here, next one is your cancer question, okay? So you have your cancer question. Within the last 90 days, have you had cancer? But here's the cool thing about Security National Life is if you've had cancer and you've been cancer free for 90 days, basically when you're looking at this question over here on the cancer and you've been cancer free for at least 90 days, we can write you a modified plan. Once you've been cancer free for two years, because this is a two year question, remember? When you've been cancer free for two years, we can write you a preferred because this will be no over here. So we can write you a preferred. Okay. Um, number five, we run across a lot of dementia and Alzheimer's, so be aware of that one. Sometimes uh, Hep C, hepatitis C, okay, be aware of those. Uh, dialysis. Now, this doesn't say we can't write dialysis because we can write it on our MIB plan. It just means we can't write it here. Um, and then your HIV question, okay, HIV. So really, if we've got no's on all those, hospital seizures, you know, daily activities of life, cancer, Alzheimer's, hep C, and HIV, we can typically go on to the next section. Don't forget your applicant name and socials up here at the top on every page. Some people forget that. This question is all it's asking. Don't get it complicated. Is it, are you taking insulin and how much? So if I come in here and I go, yes, I am, I am uh, taking insulin, Keelan, right here. Okay. And then I go in here and how many units a day am I taking? I'm taking 60 units a day, okay? That mean, right, means right here that I can have a standard plan because what's gonna happen is, is that later on in the, in the application, if I'm taking more than 100 units a day, look here right here, more than 100 units of insulin. So I've got two questions here. This is if you're taking insulin under 100. This is if you're taking insulin more than 100. So we rarely have anybody in this standard plan because most of the time if they're taking insulin, they're taking a few more things also. So let's look at this section. This is a very important section when we talk about is someone going to get a modified plan. And for brand new people uh, on the line, a modified plan basically means if you look right here in the rate book and underwriting, you can go clearly over here to this page and go to our three sections, preferred, standard, and modified. So if you're a preferred or standard, we give you day one coverage. If you're modified, Try not to say the word wait, because that's just kind of a bad word in the in the industry. Try not to say the word wait, because uh, it's you know, we, we try not to do that. Uh, uh. But basically, if they were to pass away in the first two years, in the first two years, then we'd give them all their money back plus 10% additional. Now, if they die in an accident, we get the full face amount. Okay. So that's just a two-year period on the modified. But guess what? They're not going to get anything else from anybody else anyway. So it's still a great deal. A lot of companies have three-year wait periods, so it's not a problem. But be sure you look, you know, and be sure that you, you see these, these age bands down here of each age group. Now, we do go up to 90, but we don't go up to 90 if you're a modified. You have to be right here. You have to be a preferred or a standard. Okay. And then we go up to 35 on preferreds up to 75 age and then 25 here. Okay. So be sure you look at those and you know what, uh, what you're looking at. Uh, so bear with me about 10 minutes and I'll let you roll. Um, so basically what this question is asking, so be aware of this within the past two years, has the proposed insured been diagnosed, tested positive for, treated for, prescribed medication for, been medical advice. So let's read it a different way. This is a two-year question, but it says within the past two years has the proposed insured been. Now, if we go in here and I draw a line through these 
two, th these things right here. And I go into here and I go, now if I read it like this, within the past two years has the proposed insured been prescribed medication? Here's what we happens a lot. So let's just be, be aware. Someone had a, a stent put in maybe five years ago. Well, that's older than two years, Keelan. Yeah, but they're taking blood thinners, but they're taking blood thinners or whatever it may be, okay? So be aware that the question's asking that are you still taking medicine for any of these issues? Are you still taking medicine for any of these issues, okay? So just be aware of that, all right? Well, let's look at this and we can run through this pretty fast, but I wanna just, I want you to kind of picture, if you will, uh, and I'm, I'm not a very good drawer, so um, I'm gonna try to draw. Uh, I want you to picture a person, and this is my stick person. Okay, this is my stick person. All right, if you can see him. Hey, how are you doing? Put a little hand on him, a couple of smiley faces, whatever. Hey. Um, so basically when I look at these questions and I'm really kind of just, as I get used to Security National Life, as, as you get used to Security National Life, you're gonna know, hey, this is what he's talking about. So question nine, this has to do with this person's heart, okay? Anything wrong with your heart? Heart valve, bypass, anything, okay? Number 10, this is your cancer question. Remember, if they're 90 days cancer-free, we can put the date in there and we can check yes and we get a modified. If it's over two years, we can check no and get a preferred, okay? Number 11, that's talking about your noggin, your brain, okay? That's your brain question. Number 12, another heart questions, okay? Number 12, heart again. 13, this is all your lungs, COPDs and everything. 14, kidney disease. We will take, pe we will take people that have kidney disease. It's just that they can't be on the transplant list yet. It can't be on the transplant list yet, okay? Uh, how do I change your main view when I've been until the sales can be done? Uh, yes. So, uh, Roni asks this, uh, the, only, the only time you can do, let me back up here, the only time you can do a web app, the only time you do a web app is on the simple security plan. The only time you do a web app is on simple security plan, so 40 and over. The next question she had was, uh, if you change the banking information, we'll just call the company, get with me later, Roni, we'll call the company and uh, change it verbally over the phone with the client, or we'll fill out a new bank draft form. That's an easy one to take care of. So uh, call me afterwards. Um, so diabetes, one thing we're talking about here is neuropathy. You're going to see a drug called gabapentin some. Gabapentin, I'm going to try to type it right here. Gabapentin. Okay, this is neuropathy. So anytime it's associated, anytime it's associated with diabetes, that's a yes. Okay, so neuropathy. 16, this is all your nervous system. Okay, Down syndromes, Parkinson's, epilepsies. And if they have seizures, we'll still write them a modified policy. Okay, they just can't have had one within the last 30 days. Paranoia, schizophrenia. We'll, we write people that have uh, minor depression and you can look at the medications list on the depressive orders. So when you go over here to my medications list, you'll be able to see here, you know, depression, hypertension, anything that may be in here uh, that has to do with that. And see, see for example, like this, alprazolam, anxiety disorder, okay, that's preferred, okay? So go in here, make sure you know where your medications guide is, and we're not gonna go through that today, but make sure you know uh, where that's at, okay? Um, have you been advised by a licensed professional? Yes, that's right, under Andrea, the gabapentin was modified. Now, here's the thing. Andrea, Andrea asked a good question. The gabapentin modified. Andrea, if they don't have any diabetes, if there's no diabetes at all, and they're taking gabapentin just for nerve pain, say they were in an accident, whatever, that can be preferred. That can be preferred. We just need to tell the underwriters about that before. What are they taking it for? What are they taking it for? Okay, that's the important part. Uh, this one right here on 18, have, have a test or surgery that you haven't had. Number 19, this just means if you've been in a, in a uh, medical, uh, have, you, have you received medical treatment uh, for drugs or alcohol? 
Uh, number 20, we actually ride oxygen on modified. Some companies don't. We'll walk, we, we can ride people with a walker and a wheelchair and everybody on modified. Now, that's not, again, that's not, again, if, hey, listen, uh, you know, every once in a while, you know, just like my dad. My dad, you know, has had trouble, you know, going to soccer games and to track meets lately. So every once in a while when his legs get weak, he'll, he'll roll up on a walker just to help him out. But he doesn't, you know, most days he doesn't use it. Most days he doesn't use it. All right. This is the most important part of the whole thing. This is the most important part of the whole thing. You get paid commissions for this part right here mainly. Okay. We've got to be good. You've got to help the underwriters out. You know, we don't have we don't have a medical background check. We don't do urine or blood. And uh, so they are entrusting you to write the medications down properly. For example, if I'm on amlodipine, okay, I'm going to put that. I'm going to put the dosage. What is my dosage? 10 milligrams, okay. When did I start taking it? How long have I been taking it? How long have I been taking it? So five years, okay. What is amlodipine for? I always have to put this high blood pressure. Now, there is not a question up here at all that has to do with high blood pressure. So what would I put here? Non-applicable, non, not applicable, not applicable, okay? So that's important, okay? Not applicable there. Um, if, I have a, if I have a medication, uh, like, uh, let's just see, um, uh, well, gabapentin. If I have a medication called gabapentin, I'm going to put it right here, okay? And uh, yeah, and how many milligrams I'm taking it, okay? So you've got to ask the people, what are you taking? Show me your medicines. Do the best you can, okay? Do the best you can, uh, four years, and I'm taking it for neuropathy. And now that has to do with what question? I've got a bunch of scratching up here, but basically it has to do with our diabetes question, which is number 15. Okay, so it's number number 15. Okay, so 15. So you see the difference right here? Uh, the difference is on these. So when I have something that does not apply to this, I still have to write the medicine down but then I put not applicable, okay? I put not applicable. If it relates to a question 15, then yes, it's gonna to relate to this question 15, okay? Very important part of the, of, the, um, of the process. Child riders, okay? If you're putting any children in there, just make sure they don't have any of these, these uh, elements here. Again, applicant name social. And then here's prescription authorization. This is basically just authorizing us to look up their prescriptions. What date? Where were y'all at when you wrote the policy? Okay, so you can also go in here for the, them and you can print the insured's name, but then the, in, the signature, we have to sign, the proposed signature has to sign. And also if there's a different owner, the owner will have to sign and date it, okay? And date these three dates, okay? Is the proposed number four, be sure you do this. Like if you're writing a policy for your, your son, daughter, or or a significant other, then you'd have to put yes right here. If not, put no. It just tells the company whether or not to pay you advance. And then will you or will you not be replacing it? Okay, will not. Uh, your signature here as the agent, your printed name as the agent, and your agent number. You can split commission with another agent if y'all are working together. So just be aware of that. And then last but not least right here, and then I'm going to let y'all go. This is important part. If you look at this kind of as a whole, I'm going to shrink it down a little bit and do this. The payor and the customer are the same people. They are that same person that you put right here. They are the same person that you put right here, whoever you put that. Lots of times it is the insured. Lots of times it is the owner. But when you get down to this page right here, okay, then you, this is the same person. So whoever that is, if that is the same, is this one right here. So just be sure when they actually redid the application, they messed up, but this is the same person. And this person is the person that's gonna sign right here. So if I'm buying Bill a policy, if I am buying Bill a policy up here in the top is gonna be 
Keelan right here on the customer's name is going to be Keelan. And then Keelan's going to come down here right in here and Keelan's going to sign Keelan Johnson right here. Now, Bill's name will go right here. So I'm buying a policy for Bill. Okay. So because it says the EFT will, will apply to the following. Now, again, if Keelan's buying his own policy, it'll be Keelan, 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 if not. And then right here is very important that you get the checking account number and the routing number. You know, routing numbers, these are all public information. You can look that up. So if you can't, if you have someone that can't find their routing number, this is another name for it, transit number. It's public information. You can go online and you can Google it. Bank of America, Georgetown, Texas, routing number. Okay, and it will give you the net routing number. But we need also the account number, savings account or checking account number, and then the address of that bank. Okay, so very important part, you get this. Please try to stay away as much as possible from debit cards. Don't do debit cards because guess what a debit card is? A debit card is attached to this checking account. It's basically just a credit card on this account, number one. Number two, it costs more money than, the, than it would anywhere else. So if I go in here and I write something up real quick and I go look at this, I go preferred, I'm gonna do this really quick. Uh, 65, face amount, $15,000, uh, female, non-tobacco, calculate. So if you look right here, I mean, it's it's four more, almost four more dollars a month to do a credit card or a debit card than it is an EFT. So always try to get the, the you know, the EFT, try to get the routing number, account number, even if you have to go to the bank with them or, or you know, or call the bank for them or with them or whatever, try to get that on there. And then conditional receipt, you can do this. You can go in here and receive from Keelan right here to the amount uh, on, you know, three, three slash 31 slash 222, sum of whatever the amount was up here, uh, $56 and $56 would be here. And then sign my name down here, blah, blah, blah. And then you can type your name in here or print your name right here. And you can actually on this perforated line, I know it's not very convenient, but you can go in here on this perforated line and bend it back and forth a couple three or four times on that policy. Bend, bend this corner three or four times over here on this side and tear it off for them. At least it gives them something. And what I would do is I just put down here underneath draft immediately. See where this blank is right here, kind of draft immediate, write it, write it down. And then I would put future draft dates on the 15th or whatever. Okay. It just gives them something to, to, to hold in their hand. It gives them something to, to from you. Okay. As far as a conditional receipt. And take that application, upload it here, take a picture of it and go in here and go to this page right here, finish up your presentation and ask for a referral, ask for a referral. You should have the, every, every one of you should have 10 of these to your name right now, printed off referral forms where you can go, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, how'd I do? How'd I do? Did I make you feel comfortable, Mr. and Mrs. Jones? Are you happy with the protection? Did I answer all the questions? Would you recommend me to friends and neighbors? Because I want to, I want people just like you. While I wrap up, while I wrap up and I get my stuff together here, would you mind writing down two, three, four, eight, ten people that you know? Go ahead and write those names down. And that way I can visit with them, you know, Fred and you know, Nancy and blah, blah, blah. I can call them up because I want them as clients too. I'd love to visit with them. I'm already in the neighborhood over here. So if you don't mind, write it down and I'll see, I'll call them up and say, hey, I visited with y'all. Y'all are great clients and I want some just like you. So I'm a counselor. So, if you, so if, if you need that kind of stuff, okay, uh, at all, it, it, this is what I'm here for. I want to just kind of summarize. I want to just kind of wrap up with this. I always say this and I'm going to say it for the rest of the year probably. So you might get used to it. <laughs> I'm very passionate about this and I know you are too. I know you didn't spend an hour just on the time just to hear me talk because it's not that important sometimes. But what I will say this is that there are people that need you out there. There are people that are scared right now. There's people, there are people that, that I talk to all the time. They don't know who to trust. 
who not to trust. You're the one that they trust. You're the one that they should be buying policies from. You're the one that needs to be out there talking to them. Let them know what you do. Make sure everybody you talk to knows what you do. Brand yourself. Whole life final expense is where it's at. This is going to be around forever. We are going to be around forever. The company is going to be around forever. Somebody eventually is going to use that policy. I'll repeat this again. The average age of death in the United States is 77 years old. And you have a thousand people in your phone or 400 or 300 or whatever it may be. Half of those people are going to die before age 77. Are you going to get to them before then or are you not? Are you going to be sitting on the front pew happy that you took care of some people, happy and proud that you wrote a policy for them. The family's going to hug your neck and say, thank you so much. Thank you so much for what you did for us. Is that going to be you? Is that going to be you that's going to be that person? Or are you going to be one in the back pew that's going to try to get out of there as fast as possible because you didn't write that policy? You forgot to protect that family. You were too lazy to ask them or you were scared to ask them about it. Okay, I promise you they want to hear from you. Make it a point to try to see three or four or five people a day and just say, hey, are you protected? Is your family taken care of? And then last but not least, use me. Use me. I'm your resource. I'm here for you. No matter if you're direct, reserved, what a career, downline, whatever you are, use me. I'm here for you. That's what I get paid for. But I don't know that you need something unless you tell me. Okay. So enjoy your beautiful sunny Thursday. I hope it is that way across the world, even up in Illinois and in California and Florida. Uh, but it's beautiful here today. Let's protect some people. Let's make it a good. We're wrapping up March now. Let's set a goal for April. I want everybody here to set a goal. And I know there's some high achievers here, but I want everybody to set a goal. I'm going to protect two people at least. I want you to get a taste on your tongue of what it feels like to get a good commission check or to protect a family or to take care of that. Okay. So I say that to say this, thank you for everything you do. Let's make, let's end up March today. Let's end March, put April in our, you know, flowers and blue bonnets and things, new life, uh, new ideas, new thoughts, protect two or three, four, eight, 10 people. Okay. You're going to feel good about it. You're going to make some money for your family and you're going to know what it feels like. So thank you uh, for being online today. I really appreciate it. And I can't say enough uh, thank yous, but as I say in Texas, Adios.